but uh, I watched it from afar, and it was really just a, a, a bunch of guys. We were rugby, but we were playing with the Lumpok. But for my they have this interest to play. Uh, but of course, the UCT now this is going to be 2001. Uh, you know, we are going to go forward. We are going to go forward. We are going to and so the guys decided, but no man, as in only we we can do this on our own. It was really just a platform for London. Lane. Of course, together with others, so much land owner, etc. But when it grew, you found that Abandu who started it moved on. So Kama, for example, was a specialist, upper a specialist, lapel local, Abanya in different professions, etc. We found that Abandu have something to give back. Mm. Uh, to the varsity people about universities, uh, but also Kubandu who are in the workplace. Uh, we find that Abandu are from the good college till, and this will be the Maka Mago Pishops, not on the bush. But Kabifika go workplaces, Bafika, Belung Selel, Tinagas, Abandu, Amyama, CS, Kamama Clash, Sivu, you about to be the only people in the room. Kantike, London, Les Mass by Sissin Dow. So we found even after Skobosal, but there is a need for uh, in Dow where we can share common ideas and thoughts. And belong as as as, as a bandu, and also Bupambi would find a way to bring others so that Sugwazi Ukula uh, song. So a yakula yongolo shobo yaba ilendo iyo namsanje, which only not only talks about as you said, it just good rugby in other sports, but in professionalism, in entrepreneurship, and also to try and look at other challenges like uh, how economy yetu is not ready for uh, diversity. You know, you you find that even in the workplaces today. We expect them uh, to to behave as if they don't have responsibilities at home. Mm. So there's still a long way to go. We say the lens, and for us, this is just one way that any person, whether you're professional or not, uh, can just do whatever they like, but contribute to the continued struggle. Sabandu, uh, uh, who, who who think that the, the world should be more equal. Jafunu kuti ewe it's 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 yabanda bamnyama but bako na bantu who who might not be that but really identify with what you're trying to do and be and, and want to be part of that as well. Hi, Master Master Che. Interesting. Oh, lady, position. Because the lady is back then. I'm going to have to say. <laughs> No, I was a uh, loose forward, Nandi Flank, eighth man, uh, most of the time. And then, of course, I moved to stand up, but I think the Afunu Guti Dari Charisha was saying it was not uh, uh, trying to progress in any way. But interestingly, I played stand up because I wanted to enjoy it, and I found that actually progressed more to stand up than, than Flank, so that was quite an interesting thing. And that's no about how I will and I coach, yes, because this is all Mamela. Hey, but I wonder, sick for man? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um I, I think I think about the means here that are on T V. I always find it un, unfortunate to abound to as Bona as like a celebs or something like that. Bona is a Um the way in the Bona I am tossed. For super sport is basically we are providing a service to Abandu. Um, we're entertaining Abandu, and the people that are watching us, uh, uh, we they to entertain them. And the, and the husbands are very but but people are coming with praise and all of that. And yeah, obviously, I'm um, I'm appreciative of that. But ke na di boni as in bana eh the city viewing of mandeng lo mdo opa ba or whatever uh, it's it's tigumsasa zwe rugby you know we talking about rugby we enjoying the game and that's that's all that matters I guess at Um when when we go to the occasion last uh, year being the first black captain kulum zanza Africa I don't wanna say first black captain. First black captain from Zanzibar. Um, I think that for me, I felt it was a massive occasion, and I felt as a band of Tulsa, probably view it 
as a bigger occasion than Abanya that might be listened to other languages. So I felt in Dovapana it needs to be given uh, the lift and the platform that it deserves. Uh, so the Kondubana came, Mandubani ke Abandu Imba Ligasiya, where he came from, how he got to where he is now, and what it means to Muna personally, and probably what it means to Abanya Bandu, Ababugeleo. And uh, that little piece that I put together for Rusia, I think, was very fitting for the occasion. And um, obviously, the big bonus that saw we, because had we lost, then because I did, I love such as the fish by Kalin Bumpum Jalo, you know. So um, thank God that we won the game. And I think that that Usia, obviously, when you're watching the when you watch the game, I was very nervous. And over time, why I can go if man and a confidence is along one of the up or go super sport pause a comment. Can you just tell us how your journey began uh, what it takes uh, in terms of preparation to put together the, the sentences and word combinations that yourself and your fellow commentators put uh, the funniest moments we've had in studio? Mastalenge Gopaka yonasel. I think that to Paka Kala um the mandate side Nikwa Ayotina when we started the show was to tell the untold stories. So Sitatangazindo is like Abandabana Kala Tatanas. And one of those things is the history of Abandabam Yam and Pokwen. I don't think that Abandabaninzi that are my age and younger know that it's in a history that goes more than 130 years in rugby, Abandaba mm -hmm. Yeah. So mm -hmm. the reason why I say I, I have more than 130 years, uh, two years ago, we were celebrating 130 years with club, I think he went a road, if I'm not, if I, if I remember correctly. He club, and it's one of the oldest black clubs uh, in South Africa. And Abandaba means, you see, that my think that they just need to understand that history and I think that for Parker, what we try to do is give a man number liyeti look back guys who tell us out Lalum Poko so so Lalum Poko even now in Sobu Zeno now about Tadoma Kajek who are legends in Sobu Zabo or Tatu Zola even way back even before that or Temba Ludwaba and so on so those are the stories that we actually told on the show. Um, I remember the one show we even spoke about e, how the Unity Talks. So, e Unity Talks, how it happened that Sikwa Azuzala and Abadabam South Africa, which is now 19, 1992 onwards. Um, and in our, in our show, we were talking about that. We had interviews from Utabo Utadu Tabombek, the former president. We had interviews from a couple of legends. And one of the things that we actually found, which was a, a, a fault, I think, for me, Daibona is a fault. So there was, the, there was, we were split into three. Okay? And there was going to be unity talks now, talking about how we're going to play as one team, one Springbok team. One Transvaal team, one Cubs team, whatever, or Banana Boys or Ngela Clash. Um, now, quick tala la banda bamiyama. We were represented by politicians. Quick tala la banda bam shope. They were represented by rugby people. So I think yap quick tala apo when kyang o class zamui timani is that because the politicians wanna is they wanna see us together. Uh, and in the nitty gritty don't work over. Okay, so many players are not approved of that. Group of Zanga buying in London. What was important to them was that we're all going to be playing as one team. And I think that today we find Utetone and all of that. Uh, had they attacked London back then in 1991, we wouldn't be talking about photo systems today. So, I mean, those are the sort of stories that we managed to get out there to the public. And then you know, we even built on top of that. We started profiling uh, schools, 
as a blockchain and as a planning and clubs and all of that. And then now we've been lucky to uh, uh, sponsor Hollywood Bet that is involved with the show. And if this is to uh, help those that are underprivileged, uh, which is exactly the same vision as the group of the father. And then they'll say, Jibani is again on Kanjima, go around to schools, network, handing out kits and all of that. So, in terms of my actual show, Park, I have felt it's been a long road to get to where we are. But I think that's a window where I'm, I'm very proud about where we are now as a show because we are, we're able to help whatever it is. Um, and then, yeah, you asked when I quote about the preparation, how, how much preparation it takes to put together uh, mm. a commentary or park. In, in general, Pagui matches in Agupaga. I'm not sure if Paga is still live or not. Um, Klambunga, okay. just in terms of his or perhaps the difference okay. between live and not live. Yeah. Mm. Okay, well, um, okay. So, I'm sure you will have noticed. that prepare, that don't prepare. Um, and I, I guess you can hear it. Uh, and when from the theater, you can see it, they work. Um, Nage, I don't know, maybe for those that are close to me, that needs my time as well. I I spend a lot of time preparing, I over preparing myself. Maybe in my day run down. So, Matriti, this week I know that I'm going to be working on a short again. Okay. Um, first things first, if you to hang out, Last game that the Sharks played, so I need to watch it. The last game that the Bulls game played, I need to watch that. Um, read up on the stories. What are the injuries? So I go on the website. Okay, what's happening there? Go on this website. Yeah, yeah. Sharks, what's happening there? And then go walk. Uh, press conferences. Obviously, on the days leading up to to the games, if I've got access to them, I put my man. Uh, uh, so I, 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 I check up on that. And then get also, if the game, let's say, was Saturday, then I'll start the, pre- the, the process of writing all my set and uh, my history and all of that. What is the funniest thing you remember about your wedding? What's that? The funniest memory that you remember about your wedding. The funniest in the sex time. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> well, it's funny now, but at the time it wasn't funny. Um, the, um, the guy that I paid to Utibanisa in and all of that actually messed up everything. So on the day Yom Chato, just starting with Dan Nixon, um, at 8 in the morning, there was literally only a tent <laughs> and nothing else. Um, and my wife, <laughs> <laughs> uh, but yeah, it was, a. Uh, I was like, there was no chance that this wedding is going to happen. Um, and then, yay, such a family, everyone scrambled, trying to get tables, set up. Up, your uncle on the lady it was, uh, was a night. Um, oh yeah, and the day before, my my the guy was going to be cooking, catering. He pulled out on me. I think a day or two, two days before the wedding. And at my wedding, a thousand people, I think, something stupid like that. There was a lot of people there. Uh, yeah, uh, yeah, there was a, <laughs> yeah, there was something close to a thousand people there. So Um Chita pulled out. On the catering side, the day or a day or two days before, so my mother had to take over that whole thing. And as a result, my mother actually missed my wedding uh, uh, because of that situation. Because she was scrambling, and and then uh, yeah, and then all the rest of the families are on it. a half of it, and it was yeah, it wasn't funny. But um, when I when I think about it now. Like ta ta umete me bugele shows like is on chat up like these perfect weddings or whatever, uh, and I'm thinking hell, 
I've come from, from a hell of a thing. And uh, yeah, I, I'm glad that I'm done with that thing. <laughs> Um, the law, any in the that what is that one thing that is unique about you? What's that one unique thing about you? I think I was always kept telling me by So that's out. Uh, I was not really hidden nowadays because I'm not kind of creative. Okay, so... So, um... Can you hear me? Yeah, there's a little bit of an echo from Hello? as well. We're struggling to hear you. And that's not my Kubek again. Okay, okay. So yeah, um, obviously been telling you about the fact that in Tanfuli drama in Varsity. So I see myself as a bit of a creative. Outside of Lomsebenz Duenza Ayongwogo, I worked as a as a creative in a production company for about ten years. So that so it is born as 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 that. The basic Alum Seben's one was to come up with ideas for e promos or maybe people say adverts. That was Super Sport, funny enough. So Super Sport, then Seben's I wrote Super Sport, and Super Sport was my client as well. So, um, yeah, a lot of these uh, promos that you see on air, um, I did quite a lot of them. So, yeah, that's something, that's a hidden thing that I, I, I do, or I did. Interesting, hey, we need those talents. <laughs> <laughs> Moving on, you can, you can, we, we, we can say now that it's a high school at Dale, and we know that Dale, even today, is still standing strong with the culture. I'm not going to call it. I'm not going to call it. I'm not So basically, you reached the peak with high school rugby because you were captain of the SA school selection. So now we'd like to know, because it was a very different time back then, we'd like to know the fears, the challenges, and what are your greatest moments um, with that experience? Um, in terms of SA schools, you on yourself, it was obviously a, a, a big honor to, 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 to be picked, first of all, with SA schools. That means that Ubono is amongst the elite, we was Golo. And then to be made the captain as well was obviously massive. Basically, the time that that, that people as a captain, it was on my second year, second, second year of being picked for SA school. That kind of people, Zafun to stand at nine, or I guess uh, you would say grade uh, eleven. Uh, yeah, um, Zafun to stand at nine, and then go got picked again the following year. And that's about the unique card that had played the year before with SA school. So they wanted to to make a guy been a Ben Amava as a captain. It was like between Nanayi Chapter and Neil Fuller. And now Neil um, was a guy who never spoke uh, to anyone. So, Pato, okay. Panuka Wunda, he will be the captain in SA school because he was the captain of Vip Water, Craven Week as well. And um, I think it was a, it was a massive honor. Um, some of the guys that I had captain became the legends that are in South Africa, like Abandaban Jango Fori to prayer. Um, he was there. Uh, Matt Stevens, Wapele, Lalela, in Landosa, in British and Irish Lions, in England. Uh, January was also there. So there was a lot of big names that were part of, 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 of that team that ended up make, playing with rugby. So it was, it, was, it was obviously massive for me. And at the time, Nam Dundas born, but okay, obviously there's a there's massive potential of, 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 of playing professional rugby local and potentially even getting to the Springboks. Sweet. And speaking about moving into the Springboks, you yeah. know, is the transition between um, from high school rugby to professional rugby. Sure. Uh, how was that experience for you? Because earlier you were in the field, but I'm sure it's a different league and it's a different yeah. field of 
um, of, of work and I find it mainstream and commercial, you know. Mm. So how was that transition for you? And I'm sure you were very young from high school to yeah. professional rugby. Yeah, it uh, it wasn't easy. It wasn't easy at all. Um, you can born up on Facebook, always making comments about professional rugby and this and this and that. Hey, it's gone by. I'm about uh, para para as a J. But anyway, um, no, it wasn't. It wasn't an easy transition. Um, for for a number of reasons. I think because of everything that I had been awarded this already, which was uh, captain a lot of teams that I played for and been selected and all of that, I probably took a lot of things for granted. And the same thing going up, uh, I should make this team, I should make that team. And um, kind of thing, when I think back now, and Nim Dala or Nim Dalana, I'm trying to squash that. But anyway, uh, Nim Dalana is, um, you know, you get talent and you get uh, hard workers, and hard working most, most of the time trumps talent. Um, because I remember, um, the same thing, like as an 18 year old, there was a guy called Tim Bulani, uh, that played for Coxstead, uh, at the time. Nage, I had been made SA Schools captain the following year, been made SA the 19 captain, and then Utim got signed, uh, with Natal. Nama also got signed with the Natal. We got there, Nage, Goku, Dapi, Kwaku Natal and 21, Natal 7, Yoga Londole, and Utim was a bloody hard worker, but he was not getting picked for his team. Um, and he just kept on working hard, pushing himself, working hard, pushing himself. He wasn't a naturally talented rugby player, uh, but he was a bloody hard worker. And Kabele and Utim ended up playing for his blue books. Do you think that there has been any progress made by professional bodies to ensure that talent gets to the top in the rugby field? Oh, okay. Um, by us, um, I guess. But we're still, we're still losing a lot of talent in South Africa. Uh, because we, a lot of e unions are needed. They don't, in, they're no longer investing in development. Um, in terms of our circuit development officers for unions are needed. Because there's no budget. Uh, and when they cut, the budgets, the first thing they cut is, is development, unfortunately. Mm. And um, since Kango, the budgets, the development, they've been cut. We don't have in, um, a lot of scouts as yet, Lokshin, looking for these uh, these players. So there's a lot of players that we lose out on um, at grassroots level. Uh, but having said that, at least it's going to mend this Jenga Varsity Shields, the Varsity Cup which are being shown on TV. So sometimes we get to see those talent, that talent there. And obviously, with the corona is back on craving this year. But I don't think it was going to be there anyway. There was an issue with the craving week. There was no sponsor. So I don't think craving week was corona or no corona. So, um, that means now there's a potential of losing out. Uh, so to, to sort of wrap up what I'm, what I'm saying now is, is we're not doing enough to secure our bus, but to secure the talent. And unfortunately, um, the few people about Bona as scouts, they're not venturing in the South Africa to get these players. So we are losing a lot of players. Uh, from just purely from instructors not being strong enough at grassroots level. Um, Ngoku all of a sudden is Ndwana over and above them um, uh, uh, trying to make it good rugby. They're also getting an education as well. And I think that I've seen so many guys that I've played with uh, or who played before me or directly after me, whereby Imeko Zabo, Imeko, Imeko Zim Bikakul, um, you know, they, they've, they've ventured into Isindu Zimbi and Abaya Basuele because of things that they, they, they ventured into. I, I don't want to mention any names, but okay, I'm sure people can sort of uh, grasp what I'm saying. 
Now, with the varsity cup, the varsity shield being there, Ngoku, as one of the getting education uh, um, over and above playing, and I think that whenever I get I get calls from I get a lot of calls from uh, Abazali um, saying, "Listen, my kid has just been offered X, Y, and Z by this province or this school or whatever, whatever." Now the main thing I need push I attached to this offer. So, however, I'm at, I'm, 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 however, I'm, I'm much amount they offer Umdana, there has to be education attached to it. There has to be um, uh, so free education. There has to be e, e, e study material attached to it. There has to be obviously accommodation attached to it, and then getting an entry like you can work supplements, blah 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 blah. But without education and and the material your founder being attached to any contract. I don't advise any child or any uh, child's parent to sign that contract if there's no education attached to it. Um, even if Umdanawako is not seen as uh, uh, maybe a right is not an academic. There's other courses you know, that can be linked again, into the old tech, technicals or whatever. But if the if a confundo kulo 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 offer that comes to your child, my advice is for you not to take that. Um, so I think that that is uh, quite an important part the university. Now, when you, when you're in the varsity itself, okay, we'll go to answer your question, when you are inside the varsity itself, aglulanga, eh? aglulanga to play professional rugby and to be a student as well. So what you should do is. Obviously, if you're starting off and Dala, maybe under 19, you've got a lot more time than a guy who's playing for the Sharks and the Springboks. So, at, at under 19 level and 21 level, you can still be a student. Um, you can still you can still balance it. But once you get like like a son Eleanor Amba, for example, um, at age at age 20, he's already he was already playing Curry Cup, and now he's in the Super Rugby team. Was probably going to be somewhere close to his spring box, you know, like that that guy there. If he's studying, once again, Goku he needs to put it in his head. The course, which is going to be three years, will probably end up now being six years. So you take you take by Megoya, go focus. You you obviously focus a lot on rugby, and later. Well, we have to take less modules, but, but you must just be aware of the fact that Ngokuena, Le Koso Ifundayo, will take much longer than uh, your Abanya Bandu that you now. So, it, I think it's very important that the rugby unions get a, 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 a mentor for Isdwana that come from those sort of backgrounds, whereby Umbu, then Anando, now all of a sudden he's got Masiti a lot uh, for, 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 for what he's come from. So those kids there need to be mentored, and and unfortunately, I think I just sound wrong on Mendele. They're mentored by someone that has a similar background because those of is, uh, let's say they've got a white agent again, and uh, the agent tells them, "Uh, uh, that guy, that kid might say, I saw a condo as you know, he doesn't know where I come from. No, 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 no. You know, but, but if you've got a guy like, um, uh, one in the stick who's mentoring you, for example, also get locked in in I say, listen, Tanam, uh, we talk in your tea, Nam, then you play Merco, uh, but, and that, that loon, he's stuck up on that, but just a corner, can't you, can't you, can't you. So, in our case, as unions adopt law mentality, of having those mentors. Now to come back to your, to to to, to in the Bay, your boom. Um, I, I I I I wish that you guys could adopt something similar in that. Nikata Amalaiti give them opportunities or whatever the case is. But you, for example, can give the, the lighties advice on their finances. If there's a person who's involved, Bubumbo, who's a lawyer. They can look at um, the kids' uh, uh, contracts. If there's a person who's a personal trainer, 
they can assist here and there. So whatever it is that we're not your capabilities or Londole Oyenza and as an individual joining Ubumbo, maybe you can offer your services to Lamalaiti that are playing there or or trying to trying to make it at the top. So it's 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 very my my answer to your question when I teach is very similar to to the union and to Ubumbo. Whatever it is that you can do to mentor Lamalaiti, it needs to be done because this is, we we we're losing we're losing too many kids to uh in Joala uh Abanya Bashatwa, Banya Tunwa um Abanya they try to impress their friends about Kulana Zulokshini and end up doing wrong things, Banga and it was the OBC, uh by a bantua for whatever. Banya Bashwangula you know, there's all there's all sorts of, of messed up things that are happening to a lot of kids purely and only because they don't have a mentor, they don't have someone to guide them along. Now all of a sudden Elite is born at Now he's earning what uh, seven hundred thousand in a month um, uh, a, a year, sorry. Okay. So all, so all of a sudden, Bogi comes from Umdube Sokola to earning this amount of money. Mm. <coughs> and Lomdolo might see themselves as a person who's now walking on water. You know, if the Patini does tell us, okay, Portile, so to close up, when they turn up, a hell of a turn up, yeah, but, you know, those sort of things that you need to, you need to, you need, you need to curb, you need to curb those sort of things. Long as the owner as the guy, but, you know, you you need to be careful of such things, and and as our mentors can assist with this. I was coming up here, of course. I get put this is a blue lagu cool man. So I feel I'm as the echo. So blue lagu input or as per your name, I'm saying I'm going to go to. So I'm going to ask you, you Iceland and tens. I'm going to them. Yeah, yeah, so when you go on and that's course I lost the same but that says Lalin unfortunately. Yeah, I'm a sick boy, nigga. Guys, thank you, thank you very much for, for hosting me. Uh, I have a special welcome to the cool food. And we are going to have a guest with us, William Gela, and we are going to have a cool food. Okay, but I'm going to have a good one. It's a first Yikubo platform. I'm going to have a good one next week. Uh, Gomso, AK Fitness, 6 to 6.45, same Ubumbo Legends page. Bring your towels, bring your squeeze bottles, bring your attitude. And the family. Sukubenzo. <laughs> <laughs>